your health, your happiness, your success. They all reflect the status of your relationships. In fact, your entire relationship history, even from the time before you were born, occasionally even before then. So what am I talking about? Well, everything, everything, you, me, your computer, everything that exists is energy. And your emotions are energy. And every interaction that you have with another person is an energetic exchange, even before you're too young to know it's happening. So let me give you some examples of how your body works as an energy unit. Everything that happens in your life starts out in your energy bodies, also called light bodies. Maybe you've heard the term aura, and there's a whole series of them going out from your body. <laughs> when something happens that causes a block in your energy body, if you're able to clear it while it's in there, it will be cleared, and you'll never develop a health issue from it. On the other hand, if you don't know it's there, and most people have no clue that it's there, it will come into your body in a physical form. Now, it's a physical form, but it still comes in on an energetic level. As there are two ways that energy is running through your body, determining your health, happiness, and success. One is meridians. You've probably seen an acupuncture model with lines. There are energy highways running all through the body. And what an acupuncturist does is finds where your energy is being blocked and releases those energies. The other source you may have heard from ancient Ayurvedic of chakras. that go down the center of your body. Now, here's the thing about chakras. Here's the thing about meridians. Every single one of them has its own unique emotional theme. Now, on a meridian, there's a beginning point and an end point because energy flows in a very specific direction. And every point between the beginning and the end reflects a slightly different aspect of the emotion that's governing that particular meridian. Now your chakras also have emotional themes. Now you've probably heard of the seven chakras in your body. Well, there are a whole lot more than that. Whoa, uh, your physical body up above also. But the point is everything. Everything that happens in your world happens energetically. So what I do when I'm checking somebody to get a total picture, because I don't depend on somebody's memory or thoughts, this is what I need to clear, this is my symptom, this is what's bothering me. Mainstream medical does that. Mainstream medical is looking at the effects the symptoms, which are always results of something being out of balance. If you don't get to the cause, you don't get rid of the cause, and it will always be there. So I ask the body for the priority of what's going on, and here's something really interesting you may have experienced. I will write down, I will list each problem each issue, each thing that's bothering a person and why they came to see me. Now, maybe they're having headaches, or maybe they're being anxious, or maybe they're depressed, maybe they're having brain fog. The list just goes on and on forever, right? Well, because I write down the specific issues, and then, here's a part may sound woo-woo, but it's not like it's anything new. I will lay those words on the body. Yes, your body reads words that you place on it. 
that's how we can work with a baby. That's how we can work with someone who can't speak. That's how we can work with someone who doesn't speak English. Now, if I were working, say, with a child who's having learning disabilities or learning challenges, I would take different sheets of paper, actually use index cards, and I would group a few of the different possible disabilities on each one so they might have a whole stack of them, lay them on the body, and eliminate the ones that aren't being involved in this particular child situation. And I'll come up with the ones that are actually the culprits. Now here's the other thing that's very, very telling and why I know your body's an amazing computer. When I take, let's just say, one symptom of a person, let's say their anxiety, and I test their body to see what's going on, I'll get a record of which meridians, which chakras are being blocked. And then I'll take off that card. I'll put a different card on listing a different symptom. Let's say it's having trouble breathing, stuffy nose, sinus issues. I'll get a different set of causes, different meridians, different chakras being blocked. Because when something happens in our life, it can go across lots of different meridians. So yeah, I'll find overlaps between the different symptoms the person wants addressed. Now actually, what I started doing was writing all the symptoms down to get a complete picture of what's off. Because once you know what's off, then you can see whether it's off as something physical going on with the body or whether it's something spiritual going on with the body. Because spiritual refers to you knowing yourself, your true spirit, who you really are, not who you think you are, not who other people think you are, who you really are. Or it involves your relationship to a higher source, whatever that is that's personal to you. But you see, your body tells me all that information in very great detail so that when I get this information after, it takes me 20 minutes to get this information. It takes me about six hours to decipher it and tell a person what's going on, where it's wrong, whether it's physical, how much of it's spiritual. And then we can decide from there where we want to go. So that's how your body's working. Now, the other thing to know is you are energy. You are a divine spirit, but you're living a human experience. So your body has physical needs. Now, you've probably heard of chiropractic, where a chiropractor tells you that you need to keep your body in alignment because if the messages can't travel down your spine accurately, well, your body can't be working right. So here's the thing about meridians. They come out of your, your nerves. I'm sorry, the nerves come out of your brain in pairs. One of the pair goes to an organ system. The other pair goes to a muscle system. So as a specialized kinesiologist, I test different muscles, and that's how I get the information. Which meridians are turned on? Which ones are being blocked partially or majorly or turned off completely? So I can see if it's 98% working or if it's 40% working. Get a really detailed picture. And we're always looking at causes. So once we know the cause, then working energetically. We find out what's the priority because when you fix a priority, all kinds of other things that are out of balance get fixed like that. So I never say to somebody, where do you want to work? What do you want to work on first? I just ask the body because I'm talking to the spirit that created that body that knows everything about it. Tells me what's wrong, what's the priority. 
And sure enough, when I clear a priority, a whole bunch of stuff gets better. Now, here's another priority to know because you live in a physical body. Your head sits on a ring. It's actually a ring. Your top cervical vertebrae, also called the atlas, is a ring. Now, the job <clears throat> of your spine is to be sure your head stays centered and balanced the way it's sitting on the atlas. On the atlas. So, if your atlas goes off one side or the other side, or maybe it goes up in front, or maybe it goes down in front, what do you think happens to the nerves going from your brain through your atlas into your spinal cord? They get impeded, they get pinched. And so you'll have physical symptoms because your atlas isn't in alignment. So you could go to the chiropractor every day for a month, for many months, for years, and that problem will keep coming back if your atlas is not properly aligned. And that's a very fine skill that a lot of people say they address. You got to know your information before you choose an energy provider, and that includes complementary alternative. So, I know I threw a lot at you. I hope you got a picture because all those energy blocks come from relationship issues. And man, if you don't clear them, you'll never be happy, you'll never be healthy. And you'll never be successful, not to the degree you know in your heart that you want. I'm Allie Beerman. You can find me at yourrelationshipintelligence.com. Now, I appreciate your going down, sharing this information, because people don't need to walk around hurting. People don't need to walk around upset, stressed. There's always something, and it's not so hard to find what's going on. And what's really cool when you work the way I do, I don't just clear the emotion. I clear the whole history every time it happened for you throughout your entire life. And that's why what I do is so incredibly powerful. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will see you here next week continuing our talks about health and how it relates to your relationship.